day 46 of my carnivore life and I learned something. I had an epiphany yesterday. <laughs> so one thing I wanted to address is we always say when we do something wrong, it's a failure. Um, we are having maybe cheat days. And what I realized when we talk like this to ourselves, I think what is the worst thing somebody can do to somebody you love? It's cheating. And to call yourself a cheater in this moment, I think it's the worst self-talk you can do just because you maybe one day had something you wouldn't like to have in the moment. So I wanted to address that and say, we're gonna don't call it cheaters. We're not gonna call it fails anymore or mistakes. We're gonna call it gentle days. If somebody has a better idea, write it down in the comments. But I wanna call it gentle days, not cheat days anymore, because we are just having days where we wanna be gentle with uh, us. So um, why do I address that? Because yesterday I um, started eating, I was hungry because my hormones were through the roof and I can feel it, you know, 80 days. Um, and my hormones were just, you know, not balanced at all. And I was hungry at 10 and I did have a can of tuna. And at 12, I did make some uh, ground beef with some spices and it tasted so good. It tasted amazing. Um, but after I ate the ground beef, um, I put also in a tablespoonful of tomato paste. Um, and I'm allergic to tomato paste and I know that, but it's tasty. So yeah, stupid me. Uh, I did eat about three, four hundred grams maybe of the ground beef. So I will be full when I go shopping. The problem was since I'm allergic to it, um, my body reacted in a bad way. You know, um, I, I had pain here. It was like somebody's doing this to my heart. So yeah, not very smart. Yes. But um, it was so tasty and it tasted like bolognese without the spaghetti and it was just satisfying me and I did eat a lot of meat. So why not? These little spices wouldn't kill me. So the everything else I ate months before, they, they, they had to be kill me. So that's a plus. That's something that's amazing. You know, I still eat a lot, a lot of meat and still eat the tuna and didn't eat the fries and the processed food and the sugar and all these things I usually will eat at this days in the month. So um, I then went to the shopping center and I realized because of my off balance and everything, I was craving everything and everything smelled like chocolate and pastries and all these kind of things. And in this moment, I realized I'm not gonna be able to be consistent walking hours here in the shopping center. Um, and spending time here um, because I wanted to read a book and just sit in a coffee um, coffee place and just have uh, a sparkling water with a little, a little bit of lemon. That was just, you know, and sitting there for an hour and just reading. That was my plan just to get out of the house. And um, that's when I realized if I go to my this place where I go, I would order maybe coffee and that's not what I want to do just because of, you know, sitting there and having this or maybe the cake I would usually eat, um, or the fries I will have, and the burger, and all these kind of things. So um, I thought, no, before I go in, I, I feel it that I'm, that I'm weak today. I'm a little bit more weak also for my energy levels. I'm just weak. My mental health was a little bit weak. So I said, you know what? I'm going to have a gentle day, but how should a gentle day look like? I can stick to the carnivore world, you know, but it's almost impossible uh, where I was because there is nothing just whipped cream without sugar or you know this without sugar and these kind of things so there was almost impossible I could have some cheese but that was not what I desired um, when I'm in this mood on my hormones I need sweet stuff so I thought I'm gonna go a little bit more in the keto direction but not go keto like full keto this day but I still had my ground beef, but just have a little bit of keto desserts and look for them. So I found some low carb keto bites and um, I was craving such a protein yogurt, which I love. You know, it's not a healthy version, still processed food, but 
I love the taste. I love the taste. It tastes good and it only has about five grams of carbs. So it's not that much. And I thought, okay, how can I mix and match? And then I looked myself and I educated myself a little bit more about keto and the carbs and, you know, to have, I know that a lot of carnivores do have these gentle days um, uh, on carnivore having going keto for maybe a day in a month or something like this. And I realized for my body, it seems like now knowing my body for two months almost into carnivore, um, that I have about maybe four to five days in a month where my body is really having this disbalance still of hormones and needing really light, sweet stuff. And um, that's what I realized with myself. And that's what's, you know, what I accepted. And I was so proud of myself because I bought all of this in the end. I just had, how much did I had? I think it was 18 grams of carbs. That's nothing. That's actually nothing. In this, I, when I went, I would went overboard. I will go crazy. Most of it was even protein um, yogurt. So you know, um, and I would go totally overboard with everything. And I would have all the fries and all the pizza and all the all the carbs and crap and these kind of things. But I still, you know, put myself back and I saw that I can do this. You know, I can be gentle with myself and say, it's okay, you can do this and have fun and enjoy it. And don't be, if you're then mad about yourself and, you know, going into this, oh my God, I'm a failure. Oh my God, I'm a cheater. Oh my God, oh my God. Then you're just putting yourself down and cannot even enjoy these things. And then you're feeling bad and bad and bad. And you are ruining your process. You know what I mean? So especially when you're in the beginning, be more gentle. Honestly, I thought about that, you know, that's what I say yesterday, celebrate your mistakes, but it's not a mistake, actually. It's just something um, that it's part of our lives to, to have these moments and we should enjoy them. We should enjoy them and not feel bad about it because I know from a lot of successful people, the, the worst thing you can do is bad self-talk. And if you're feeling bad about what you're doing, you're going to talk bad to yourself and then you're going to fail everything you are looking forward to achieve, you're going to fail. So if you have a good self-talk and say, you know what, that's my gentle day and it's totally fine and I will enjoy it and it's so good and it's my gentle hour. And also one thing, it's not, don't think in days, years and all these kind of things. Um, a lot of successful people think in hours. So if you have a bad hour or something bad is happening or, you know, whatever it is, just think in hours because the next hour you can change your life. The next hour you can change it you know and i think that's a beautiful mindset to have just to have say okay this hour i'm you know doing this and the next hour i will do better and maybe the hour then after i will still you know be in doing not the right things but um the next hour i will try to do it better so i think that's much more gentle and much more easier to go and look forward to and not put yourself into a bad position and um I have to say, I was sitting there yesterday in my favorite, you know, coffee uh, thing and I was not drinking my coffee. I was not eating my big cake. I was not eating my big burger and my sweet potato fries. I was just sitting there and before I went in, I had like five of these keto bites and I was satisfied. I ate until I was satisfied and then I went into the shop and then I was sitting there reading my book, having the time of my life just drinking my little lemon um, sparkling water. Um, all the people were so nice because they see I'm nice with myself. So they're nice to me. You know, that's what one thing I also realized. So everybody was, you know, started to talking to me and these kind of things. And I was like, you know, I'm going to read my book. I'm just going to enjoy this moment. And then I went shopping and um, I wanted to have this yogurt and these kind of things. And then I say, yes, that's what we're going to do today. It's not overdoing or, you know, just having the, I failed today and then I'm going to fail the rest of the day. It doesn't matter anymore. Bro. No, we're just going to, what do you really want? What do you desire right now? And for me, it was this yogurt. So I did buy this yogurt and I came back home and that was the only thing I could actually eat because I tend to be very sick at some times in a month. And I feel, you know, like I'm going to puke. So the only thing I can eat at the time is really less. I cannot eat enough. I just can't. And um, I'm tending more to the sweet tooth things. 
but I'm eating very less of calories. Yesterday I had 1000 calories only and I was full, full, full. And um, I walked 10,000 steps. So it depends on how much 10,000 steps are. Sometimes it's 200 to 500 calories. So the, the, <laughs> the people are not really agreeing to it. So I didn't eat enough and I lost weight. I lost almost 300 grams. So it's, um, you know, everything is fine because I was full and I was satisfied and I was happy and I was not feeling bad. And even if I felt bad on the ground beef because it triggered in the ground beef that I put, you know, my tomato thing, but it tasted so good. And um, I did have these heart problems and, you know, I felt awful, but still I was happy, you know, I, I wasn't, it wasn't bad. And I could walk 10,000 steps. These are major things for myself, major things I usually don't achieve, you know. And I'm so happy with myself. And that's the most important part, just to say, you know what? Instead of not going out, not walking, driving by car, you walked. You walked. Good girl. Amazing, you know? And um, instead of having your coffee, you're still on your matcha with water without milk. Wow! Because usually you will drink that much milk and the bubble tea and everything that was in there. And all the, the the bakery things and you will have everything and you will get completely out of control because you thought you failed. But this little thing, this little mindset change yesterday, just to be these gentle moments and, and not call it fail and, and cheat day, it was just a gentle day, it felt different, you know? So I can tell you, if you have these moments, especially, you know, some of you, um, one of you also, you know, having a baby, have as much gentle days as possible. You are having, you know, a little baby right now and it takes all your attention and everything of yourself. So be gentle and have gentle days as much as possible. And whatever you do, you can celebrate it. If you can stick, you know, to eat one meal meat and include meat, but have everything else. Oh my God, amazing. You know, that's what you want to go for. If, it, if it's what you want to go for or... um. Also today, uh, yesterday, I was able to do so much weight and, you know, lift weights and I was completely full energized. So it doesn't m put me down in some position even, but I was full energized and I was just want to have weight. So I was amazing doing yesterday still. And today I'm feeling a little bit, you know, muscle pain and everything because I was, you know, doing a lot. And I was gentle today. I did just a little bit of stretching. So if you want to do everyday sport, just have some gentle days where you just do stretching, especially for men. This is very important. If you've ever done CrossFit, uh, one of the most important parts is to do stretching and these kind of things, because then you are less likely to have um, injuries. So that's very important. So take these days off. And if it's three days a week, a month, if you need it, your body will tell you what you need. And that's one thing, and the beauty about carnivore, just to start to listen to your body and it will come to you and tell you what you need. And my body yesterday was having these moments and, you know, going for 12 grams of carbs. Uh, but at the same time, it was overdoing and saying, you want to go and walk a lot. You want to do a lot of lift weights. And that was just the beauty. I didn't, I didn't force myself to do anything yesterday anything i said you know buddy drive me i listen to you tell me what you want <laughs> and that was what i'm doing i think the most important part is to try to stick as much as possible to the carnivore world or then go keto if you have the feeling you cannot have something in a carnivore world or it's not what you desire right now but not to go away from keto because you don't need it. The keto world, yes, even if it's processed food in the end, maybe some bites. But these bites were like organic. They just have natural ingredients. But my protein uh, yogurt does have some of the, you know, processed food ingredients. So it doesn't matter in the end, you know. It's still better than everything I've done before. And uh, right now I'm craving meat again. And that's the beauty about it. Because my body wanted to have this little off time. And... Now it's craving again, you know, the meat and the steak and these kind of things. And I'm looking forward for it. And that's the beauty. And I'm just, ah, you know, I'm, you see it, I think, with, with, with me being like this. I just feel calm. I feel, I feel beauty in the world, <laughs> you know, just because I didn't put myself down doing something that I maybe didn't want to do in the first place. But in the end, I wanted to do that. And just to be nice to yourself, it's the most important part. So... 
it's a little reminder for yourself just to be gentle and nice with yourself and um uh, one thing, uh, my order came, uh, Alessia recommended this, what's this called, glycine pulver. It should be, I cannot explain what it is, so please Google it. <laughs> I don't want to say anything wrong. Um, and it's just this thing, there is nothing else inside. And um, it's sweet, it tastes a little bit sweet. So it's, she said it's maybe like, you know, instead of stevia to have this. Um, it really tastes sweet. It tastes good. So um, I will try it with some yogurt or something, you know. I will like to make pancakes today also because my son is back and I do have uh, protein cream cheese and eggs and I will like to make maybe some pancakes out of it and see how it's going. Um, and I just want to have, you know, a simple, um, simple weekend with some tweaks because I, you know, have my days, I'm in pain because I'm unfortunately one of these not very lucky women that are having a great time when they're <laughs> to have them these days. I'm in a lot of pain. So everything that makes me happy and makes me calm and just, you know, have a little bit of my matcha right now. And it's, you know, just enjoying the day and try it as much as possible just to stay in this, you know, romanticizing my life. <laughs> but I do, I do love that. So um yeah i think that's it and i hope uh, you have a great day and let me know uh, how your gentle days look like please <laughs>